Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia. My name is Krimi Clown and today we're playing more RimWorld. It's season 2, episode 2 and we're on the brink of this odd mountainous world. Um, we've decided to make an uh, to make an open air base at first. You know, just because we have to. Because um, we're not very good miners, none of us. I kind of forgot to look at their mining skills. Mining 1, Mining 3, and Mining 4 with a bit of a passion. So if there's any mining work, we'll have, uh, we'll have this guy working on it. Where is it? Mining. There we go. We'll have you working on it. Plant cutting is, uh, is one of the most important things. Growing as well. We'll need to do some growing here. So, Jose, what are you doing? Oh, no. No, 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 no. We can't have that. Oh, all right. Go for it. I'm not watching. I'm not what oh god he is actually oh god how much meat is it gonna give how much meat there we go just a couple of 27 chunks of meat I hope it was worth it you swine all right at least uh, sappy's got nothing uh, nothing to look at anymore because sappy was bonded with uh, with it all right that's fine um <laughs> All right, this bedroom needs to be done ASAP. Also, I would love these to get done. That would be nice, so we can eat at a table. Where are you going? Oh, he's he's going to fix the dining chairs. All right, so they are clearing out this uh, dumping stockpile, which is now full of food and logs, which is not where it's meant to be. Alright, these guys are going to transfer all the items over. That's fine. We'll have the wood. And the dinner table is done. So we can finally sit down at the dinner table. So people will stop being uh, being ridiculous about it. We've got torches going on. And we've got a mad animal. Alright, so let's put it on times one. Let's jump to location. Where is it? Alright, we've got a maddened tortoise. A tortoise, people. Oh my god. And he's going to slowly walk his way <laughs> over to here. Sappy's going for the hunt. Sappy's going to hunt him with a pistol. Oh, there's some steel over here. That's nice to see. You know, you should really not be that close to the tortoise because it's going to be really pissy. Come on. Just hit it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, Sappy is actually taking damn Ouch! And that's why you don't stand in a line of fire. Oh, God. There we go, finally. It's dead. All right, we've won. We won. <laughs> nice, we're building some stools. Uh, we can transfer this bed to be reinstalled over here. There we go, we'll have a torch. I think I've already put in... No, I haven't put in the order for a torch. Let's put it in. There we go. Nice. It's going to be a torch by this door as well. Um, why are we not growing these oak trees? Is everyone busy on something else besides growing? Yeah, you're constructing and repairing. Jose is really busy doing all sorts of things. So we might want someone to help out with the construction and repairing, even though they can't really do it all that well. Well, we'll, uh, we'll just wait it out. There we go. Jose is grabbing the tortoise. Putting it down on the table. There we go. There we go. A bit of tortoise skin. Tortoise leather. What are you doing, actually? What are you doing? He's grabbing the steel. We need colonist's bed. Why do we need a colonist's bed? We've got three. We've got three beds. And someone needs treatment now. Alright. He's hopefully going to sleep it off. Uh, we can set this as a medical bed for the night. Which means he will... Uh, uh, he will heal a bit faster, but he won't be able to sleep there normally if he's not 
damaged. There we go. Oh, he's got a disease. Let's take a look at his health. Yeah, from the tortoise bite. Uh, we need to get that treated ASAP. So let's put in work. There we go. If you're a patient, that's number one. Uh, if you're a doctor, we don't have any doctors. Sappy is actually the best doctor we have. All right, we'll put this on two for everyone. And bed rest is going to be really important. Flicking as well. If, if you want a, a switch to be flicked, it needs to be high priority. All right, so let's sleep through the night. There we go. And now Jose is going to grab some breakfast and probably then some medicine to help Sappy. There we go. And this bed can now be set as non-medical. Oh. And Sappy's going off for a bit of a, a bit of a bite. There we go. Uh, the infection is uh, is worse, worsening. He's got two infections now. He definitely needs to go to bed. There we go. So now someone can go doctor him. There we go. Julian, take care of Sappy. Come on. Infections are minor and they're treated. So that's good. All right, we've got uh oh, we've got a wanderer joining. Sprox, there you go. Let's take a look at your character. He's very good with animals, and nothing else. <laughs> All right, he's a hard worker though, and he's a drug addict. All right, you're in. You're feeling good, but you're naked. All right, we need to construct a room for this guy. So there we go. Let's have a room. Uh, let, oh, let's put him in work as well. Because, you know, he needs to work. Everyone needs to work in this in this colony. Yeah, you're very good with animals. So if we have an animal, you can train him. There we go. We'll put the rest on three. And three. And we'll put these guys off of hauling and cleaning. And we'll get this guy to do it instead. Because he's not very good at anything else. There we go. Let's uh let's make some let's make some room, shall we? There we go. And we'll finish this off. We'll have a wooden door and we'll have some wooden floors. And we'll make it nice for this guy. We'll have some furniture, we'll have a double bed. And we'll have a torch lamp in the corner. That will be fine for now. There we go. Um so have we got we haven't got enough wood, really, so let's cut some more. Chop some wood over here, over here, that's fine. Uh, this can't be chopped just yet. Nope. There we go, that's a bit of wood. That's a fair bit of wood, I have to say. So let's build the beds, let's build the floor. Let's get rid of these. Uh, how are we doing on the meals? We've got 10 simple meals. That's going to be fine. It's going to be really fine. Alright, so everyone's hard at work. We'll speed it up just a bit. And we'll keep an eye out for, for any messages we get. Alright, the bed's being built. There we go. We are actually doing not bad. We've got growing zones. We've got food coming in. We've got simple meals being prepared. Now we just need some defenses. Also, we might want to have a production area. We'll have a simple research bench up here in the corner. We're low on food, which is a which is a thing, of course. We've got four people now. So we might want to make more meals. You know what? We'll have 20. 20 simple meals. Are we out of wood? No, we aren't. No, I think we can build this room next thing in the morning. Someone needs a treatment. There you go, Sappy. What do you? Oh, major untreated infection. Can we? Uh, can we get our doctor on the case? Who's the the best doctor again? Actually, this new guy is uh, is the best doctor probably. Well, uh, we'll have him on doctoring skill one. So, we'll have him prioritize treating Sappy. In the middle of the night, he'll go out and treat him there we go severe illness 
and it's been extremely uh, it's been um, I wanted to say it's been extreme it is it is now an extreme illness but at least it's been treated there we go alright this guy cannot be stopped he is going like a madman he's gonna eat at the table he's gonna feed sappy there we go that's all good that's all nice well uh, we'll have this turkey be hunted and this hare as well and you know what this ostrich can be hunted as well oh there we go Julian picking up the gun Oh, that's a nice shot. So how about you go a bit closer? There we go. And now try it again. Oh, you missed. Point blank range, you missed. There we go. So should we make this an area for dead animals as well? Animal corpses. There we go. We're low on food. So we really need to work on that soon. What's going on? Oh, there is a dead bunny being killed by a timber wolf. Right. So we're low on food, apparently. But we've got 18 meals in total. 17. So I doubt we're low on food. Sappy needs some treatment, though. Where is it? Sappy. Health. Yeah, he's not in need of treatment, but he is very ill. We might want to set this to a medical bed. There we go. We've hunted down the ostrich. That's going to keep us in food for a while. Yeah, that's going to be fine. We have some dead animals to be cut up. Any more animals we need to hunt? No. No. You're just going back to cutting trees. That's fine. Sappy, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? He's in extreme pain. His needs are probably very bad, yeah. His mood is disastrous. Actually, he's in shock from exceptional pain. And he says, kill me now. That's not the best. All right. So let's... Uh... Oh, Sappy has died. This is what I was afraid of. He's actually dead. Alright, we'll just have to strip him and bury him. Uh, first things first, we need to make some... Uh, we need to build some graves. Because we don't want to bury these people out in the open. So let's build some graves and let's build them right here. People can walk past, visit the graves. And people visiting graves will give them a nice mental bonus. So you, you walk right here. And you'll prioritize working on this grave. And after that, if it's done, you'll strip him and you'll prioritize burying him. There you go. Now, that was not nice, but it's, uh, it's done now. And there we go. Last piece of flooring goes in. It's an ugly room. This is a neutral room, actually. Very neutral so are all of these. This one's a bit ugly. Alright, let's uh, put down a chair. Already, Seppi is dead. Just by fighting a tortoise. Getting an infection. That's really bad. Alright, so we've got this fox. We should, we should hunt something to get our food up. So we've got... Um, how is Sprox with guns and stuff? You're not good with guns at all. You can't do violence. Alright, so we'll have to give Jose the pistol. You equip the pistol. Julian, you're really pushing my buttons trying to shoot from that far away. We've got a raid going on as well. One guy, Parker. Oh, he, isn't, he isn't near our base just yet. Alright, Fox is dead. Where's this Parker guy? He's just waiting. He's just waiting. Alright. 
Come on. Today, Parker. Oh, we could preempt. Oh, he's uh, finally beginning his assault. So let's double click the guys. There we go. We'll draft them all. Uh, Sprox, you can't do battle. Why are you drafted? We don't need you right now, at least. All right. You guys stand behind these rocks and try and kill him. Oh, he's a very fast walker. Right. There we go. He's dead. Uh, we can try to actually recruit him. Let's uh, set this to a prisoner bed instead. Non-medical. And let's have you capture Parker. And you can be... You can run free now. There we go. Let's, uh, let's take a look at him. As a prisoner, he's not very hard to... To recruit so let's try it Let, what's his character like okay he cannot do intellectual but he's a hard worker and he's very volatile <laughs> so he'll have a breakdown anytime soon that's great that is great all right um let's get this stuff all right parker you're in for a treat literally and he's gonna be patched up Oh, he's going to be fine. Just bruises and gunshots. He's in severe pain, but he'll be fine. There we go. This guy's eating and going to bed. Nice. Uh, let's skip through the night. And let's, uh, let's see what we get next thing in the morning. So these guys are up early in the morning. Uh, Jose is meditating and Julian is relaxing socially. I don't know how, uh, because there's no one around to relax socially with, unless they're shouting insults and obscenities over the wall. But I don't think they are. Um, yeah, we need to finish the workbench so we can get into stone cutting and whatnot. So we'll have uh, we'll have some more materials to play around with. Um, let's see, there's just the three of us. Parker is getting healed. I've put someone on uh, warden duty. So if we need to. Jose will have a talk with him. Look at that. He is attempting to recruit Parker. Recruit failed. With a 10% chance. Right. So we've got plenty of wood now. Uh, we've got components. We've got uh, we've got a lot of stuff actually. We need to uh, to build some defenses because we're kind of in the open. So if we have to. Oh, we should have built our base down here. Look at this. This is nice natural crevice. Uh, anyway. Um, oh, there is some more steel up there. I didn't even notice. Um, perhaps we should do some mining then. Let's mine this away if we can. There we go. So we're doing fine on the food. We've got 18 meals in total. 17 now. 16 now <laughs> it's going down rapidly but we've got some people working as cooks as well so i guess that's fine uh this squirrel we're gonna have to hunt it there we go you cook away jose cutting down some more plants that's all fine we'll speed it up just a bit so they get their jobs done and the research bench is done so we can now actually get a project in stone cutting is really important but i think we want microelectric basics first so we can get turrets and turrets are really fine really nice uh should we do it yeah let's do it all right let's go for microelectric basics first so then we can get turrets to to do the defense for us we don't want to do the defense ourselves we want our defense to be done for us all right, so we are expanding. This is nice. We're still cooking. It's also nice. You are actually researching. We're giving this guy a roof. That was also very needed, very much needed. All right, getting the plants done, getting some potatoes in. Can we make fine meals just yet? Uh, that's the butcher table. Can we make fine meals? Yeah, we can. All right, let's do fine meals until we have 10. And let's do these ones 
so we have 10 as well so we'll try to do fine meals and uh fine meals and simple meals so you're trying to talk to parker right recruit failed all right the chances are going up though um within no time we'll have him recruited as our new heart worker there we go now he uses uh, meat and vegetables to create fine meals and these fine meals they uh give a give a nice mood bonus to everyone who eats them so that's good you can also have lavish meals but that costs a lot of resources and i don't think we have it. we have that right now we don't have it available all right so um we don't want to build on top of this geyser we, oh we've got a new recruit there we go parker has been recruited so we can put this back to normal bedroom um we'll have a room uh, nearby you know what we'll not even have it nearby we'll just make this into a room um refrigerated room refrigerated storage let's uh let's do it so let's go to structure and um you know what we could move we could do with moving the door there we go and we could do with deconstructing this door i we'll have a wooden wall over here we'll deconstruct this torch this is going to be quite something it's going to be a small refrigerated storage so there we go and we'll have a wooden door in here and we'll have another torch because we need a torch uh where is it a furniture there we go and we'll have it right here instead so this will be a sealed room for storage there we go and we'll have to refrigerate it so we need to do the temperature now if you do it like this you can have a small room and it will be frozen inside this room but heat will come off here so that's fine it will go out into the open and it will be lost uh, for that we do need some power though and we've got plenty of uh, plenty of ways to make power one of it is a solar generator so yeah we're gonna have a solar generator um, where should we put it we should have put it somewhere right here I think that's gonna be fine we'll have a power conduit leading up to here and into the wall I think that's nice so legit we do need some batteries though so we need a dedicated battery room let's do it let's have some conduits in the wall and let's make a battery room up here so we'll have a structure and we'll have it like this and this now that will fit a couple of batteries we'll have a wooden door we'll have a wooden floor as well there we go. There we go. Come on. Yeah, they're, they're going to start working on it. It's going to be great. So we've still got... Uh, what's going down? A breakdown of the cooler. It's not even functioning yet, but it's already broken down. Uh, we can put this to uh, minus 5 degrees. That will mean it's frozen. If it's working at least. There we go. And it's working again. Alright, so this room is done. Uh, let's put it down back slow. Let's have some batteries in here. So what we could do is have three batteries here and four batteries here. That's going to go uh, straight through our components. But it's going to be worth it. Um, let's have one conduit over there. Alright, let's build this. Let's put it on times three just for a bit until the batteries are built. And there we go. We need these batteries to be built. Come on, guys. Oh, come on. Let's build it. Yeah, that's one. And build the rest as well. Come on. There we go. One more. Come on. <laughs> Just built that one so we can start storing. And we don't have enough uh, steel anymore. There we go. 
finally is built. So now this storage will not be cooled at all because we're out of power. But we can make more solar generators. And we need a lot more steel for that. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily we're cutting some steel. We'll, uh, we'll give the order to cut even more. There we go. We'll give the order. And there we go. That's going to be the end of the episode. Um, next time we're going to build some more solar generators. Perhaps even a wind turbine. We need to clear some space for a wind turbine though. Uh, it needs to be out in the open like here. And we'll... Uh, we, we can have it connected. So now the sun's coming up. And this will be cooled down to minus 4 degrees Celsius. And we've got a heat wave as well. Jeez, that's perfect timing. Because this indoor area will go will go up in temperature really fast. Uh, these meals will now be frozen so they will never spoil. Which is nice. So we've got the fuel stove. We're making fine meals wherever we can. And we'll make, uh, we'll make simple meals if we can't. Uh, for now we can't make fine meals because we're lacking the meat to do so. But let's tame these. Uh, sorry, let's hunt these animals for the meat we desperately need. So for now, that's going to be the end of the episode. As I said, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.